Hello. Thank you for watching another video on using Smartsheet. Today we're going to look at how you can pull in a value from a source sheet based on multiple criterion in another sheet. So in this case, we have a few columns here. We have the the project name and the department, and those are going to be our criteria. And so when we put in, say, project one, and we're going to look up engineering, a name pops up here, John Smith. Well, that's coming from the source sheet here. So you can see here we have project one, engineering, John. There he is. OK, so how do we do that? Um, well, first of all, this is kind of a silly example because you're just replicating what's what's in the source sheet, more or less. But um, this uh, illustrates how to use the formula. Now, one thing before I get into the formula is this formula assumes that you will not have any duplicate matches. If you have a case where there's going to be duplicate matches, then you're going to have to uh, throw in some more formulas here to um, sort out which one you want. But in this more simplistic example, we're going to assume that it's not possible to have a duplicate match. And so we're going to just use collect and join functions. So the collect function takes a look, uh, well, it collects a range of values. And in this case, in our source sheet, we want to collect the name. Um, and since there's no duplicates, it's going to return only one name. Then we have to specify the criterion range. And so um, in this example, our first criterion range is going to be based on the project name. And so it's going to look at the project column in the source sheet and compare it to the project name here um, in this in this sheet. And then our crit second criterion range is going to be the department name. And so again, it looks at the department column in the source sheet and compares it with the department name specified at the specific row in this main sheet. And once collect finds a value, um, we use the join to display it because um, collect the collect function by itself is um, intended to be used in another function. And the join function um, takes a range of values and joins them together. Um, when you only have one value, it displays a single value. And so that's why we're not going to use the delimiter because um, there's no other values to separate. So, so I hope that little uh, simple collect join uh, function tutorial helps you in your own work. And thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Have a good day.